What is this? this there's a new event, chat. Star Watch. Enjoy the games in the arcade. Experience new ways to play. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, there's patch notes? Chat. Wait, there's patch notes? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's read this. Let's read this. Overwatch 2 retail patch notes, May 9th, 2023. You have a new event, Star Watch. Galactic Rescue. Battle for the fate of the galaxy in this new four-point assault mode. Oh, that sounds cool. Side with the Watcher Rebels alongside the mighty Bonebreaker to rescue the three CHO from the infinite Galactrius starship. Or serve the infinite empire and use the starship security systems to defend against the intruders. Your choice will be decide the fate of the galaxy. For whichever side wins more battles by the end of the event will reign supreme. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. General updates, ping system group up can now be used while dead. Added a new settings, communic- uh, Okay, blah, blah, blah. Junker, ta Junker Queen can now ping targets through surfaces that her knife is stuck in. Okay. In the same way that Zenyatta can ping targets his Discord is attached to. Chat, chat. Push game mode update. The respawn time for players is increased by 2 seconds from 10 to 12 seconds while their team's forward spawn location is activated. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what the f- Wait a minute, matchmaking MMRDK system has received multiple improvements aimed at, make, uh, aimed at more quickly and accurately recalibrating players when they return from a long period of inactivity. Interesting, interesting. Competitive updates. The competitive 2023, wait, the 2023 competitive deathmatch season begins May 16th. If anyone's interested in that. Okay, and hero updates. Oh, hero updates. So, Junker Queen, Scattergun. Maximum ammo increased from 6 to 8. Jagged Blade. The projectile size increased from 0.15 to 0.20 meters. Oh, so you could hit your fucking blade a lot more. Wow, that's crazy. Rampage now deals 40 impact damage. And wound damage decreased from 100 to 60. Okay, so you still do like 100 damage right there. Wow. Dude, Junker Queen is gonna be fucking strong. Holy shit. Developer comments. These changes increase Junker Queen's frontline presence by increasing her self-healing and offensive sustainability. We've also increased the Jagged Blade's projectile size so it's more consistent to land. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, that's actually a little crazy. Wait a minute, mate, wait, wait, okay. Orissa. Damage increase from 12 to 13. Orissa often gets a lot of value with her abilities, but she's underperforming compared to other tanks. Increasing her weapon damage will make her more of an immediate threat after closing the distance within with, with, it, with the enemy team. Oh, sorry. I haven't ate yet. I want to eat. Winston! Jetpack. Damage radius before falloff begins, uh, begins increased from 1 to 1.3 meters. What? Oh, I missed one on the on the Junker Queen. Sorry. Adrenaline Rush. Adrenaline passive healing multiplier increased from 1.25 to 2 times the damage dealt by wounds. Holy shit. What the yeah, let's go fuck? Jam. Wait a minute. That might be a little broken. You know what? I'm going to read the patch notes in this. So, so chat can be on here as well. Bro, Junker Queen is going to be meta. That is fucking disgusting, dude. That is literally disgusting. Uh, we read this one. The jetpack damage radius before falloff begins increased from 1 to 1.3 meters. It's difficult to deal full damage with Winston's leap due to needing to land almost directly on the enemy hero. Increasing his this range will improve his consistency. Oh god, fucking. I hate Wrecking Ball. Thank god they're nerfing him. Uh, adaptive shields give Wrecking Ball a lot of leeway in a fight due, its, due to its duration. The change to adaptive shields limits his survivability during prolonged engagements. Good. Adaptive shield effect duration decreased from 9 to 7 seconds. Good. Fuck ball. Mr. Woofy, appreciate the massive prime sub. And Perry Hotter, appreciate the massive new tier 1 as well. Fuck ball. Fuck. Ball. Oh, okay. Some damage. Oh my god. What? The following changes in- Oh my god, okay, first I'm gonna read the changes first. Damage Echo. Duplicate. Ultimate cost reduced by 25%. That's huge! Ultimate generation decreased from 5.5 to 4 times while duplicate is active. 
Okay, so it's four times now instead of 5.5, but still, that's fucking insane! The following changes increase the flexibility of Echo's duplicate ultimate and shift some of its focus away from the alert of building, uh... Hold on, I'm having a stroke right now, dude. Building multiple copied ultimates in a single use. This puts more of an emphasis on choosing a duplicate target based on the hero's overall utility for a given situation. With the benefit of increased survivability due to transforming, Echo will get her ultimate more frequently, but it will have but it will be more difficult to generate the copied hero's ultimate. That's fucking crazy, bro. You know how many times you you, you get close to killing a uh, uh not Kiriko, killing an Echo, and then she just duplicates and has full fucking health again. So stupid. Oh no! Of course, Junkrat players cry when their fucking character get nerfed. Concussion mine maximum damage increased from 100 to 110, bro. Come on. Bro, you already can't aim. You don't need more damage. The previous adjustment to concussive mine's maximum damage lowered the effectiveness of Junkrat grenade and mine combos too much, so we're increasing the damage amount slightly. Bro, they already fucking one-shot. What do you mean lower the effectiveness? A mine does 120 damage, doesn't it? And then you hit him with a mo uh, then you, uh, I mean a normal shot, and then you hit him with a mine that's 220. You basically one shot anything, or two shot anything under 200. Yeah, so dumb, bro. Oh wow, wait a minute. They should have nerfed her damage. 75 damage is too much. Make it back to 70. Biotic grenade explosion healing decreased from 100 to 60. Wow. Ana's survivability has improved significantly ever since the addition of the support passive. We are reducing the amount of healing provided by the biotic grenade explosion as she doesn't need to rely on it for self-healing as much as before. Ooh. Good. Nerf supports. Supports are fucking broken. Oh, another one. Nice. Baptiste. Cooldown decreased from 25 to 23 seconds on Immortality Field. Oh my fucking god, bro. Why, dude? Why? Immortality Field provides powerful utility, but its long cooldown means that Baptiste often has to wait for the perfect opportunity to use it. Good, it's immor fucking -tality. We're decreasing its cooldown slightly to promote more flexibility in usage. Though it will, it'll still be uncommon to see it more than once per engagement. Nah, you know what? Fucking, yeah, I can't wait until the devs fucking make their finger slip. Instead of act, uh, instead of making it 23 seconds, they make it 3 seconds, bro. Immortality every 3 seconds. Eriko. Kunai. Kunai reloads after 65% of the animation has completed. Formula, formula, 75%. New hero option. Healing of Fuda cancels reload. What? Kiriko sometimes accidentally interrupts her kunai reload with a Fuda. Kunai, kunai now reloads slightly sooner during the animation to mitigate this. In addition, there, are, there is now a uh, hero option. Healing of Fuda cancels reload, which now can be turned, on, uh, turned off to bypass this issue entirely. We just literally did... A 1v5 and a 1v10 Kiriko video. And now they just did that. Wow. And last but not least... Life Weaver. Life Grip. Reinhardt is no longer a valid target for Life Grip during Earth Shatter. And using Earth Shatter will cancel the Life Grip. Earth Shatter is an ultimate ability where positioning is crucial to effectively use. So we are adjusting it so that the Reinhardt doesn't have their ultimate be effective effectively canceled when Life Reaver uses Life Grip. Uh, hero option updates. Hide boosters, cancel text off. Wait, uh, okay. Hide fortify timer off by default. Hold to use javelin spin off by default. It's just a bunch of stuff. Hide whole hog, hide whole hog timer off by default. Gravitic Flux now automatically casts when the timer runs out. Oh shit. Configuration artillery now automatically casts when the timer runs out. That's pretty cool. Holy shit, a bunch of stuff that they added. Also, what's in the shop this week, chat? In the shop, you have Echo and Starship Engineer Mega Bundle. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I think Torb needs less clothes. Chat thoughts? Uh, what else is there? And the new game mode, right? You have um this game mode. Rules. Players eight. It's a 4v4. 
complete standard map objectives. I think it's like a, a four point capture. I think we're going to play this with, um, with Emong when he's ready.